So here is my new setup. I have an object. I have a black IKEA tray. Well, I painted it myself. Some extra light. I mean, there is uh, natural light coming in, but some uh, additional light and totally black background. Hopefully, totally. And I'm fixing it with those simple clips, and that's a shelf. Okay, so ter it's terrible. We see the object is being duplicated, and the cameras are in one position. I tried to change it to uh, low the overlap but it didn't work so this is my images I tried to fix them in Lightroom to you know just uh, uh, recover shadows and stuff like that uh, I even went crazy and tried to do black and white version which obviously didn't work so yeah that's the result still awful nothing works what the hell is the problem and then I found the problem. It's a background. There is still too much information in it, so I need to, uh, to make it way, way darker to really lose everything in the background. And then it worked. Okay, so what's the point of using a background instead of white? So, first of all, you have uh, somewhat uh, reflective objects. Uh, you can, you know, eliminate reflections and there is less influence from whatever is being reflected. Uh, I think that's the main advantage of black setup. So I forgot the main advantage of black uh, background. So basically we want to, to make everything uh, to vanish except our object. And that's basically how we can have our object uh, positioned upside and then shoot it. Then, I don't know, rotate it or put it uh, upside down and shoot it again. Uh, you know, if if we have upper and lower part of an object and uh, reality capture cannot, you know, align chunks like the meta shape does, meta shape, you know, Microsoft stuff. So that's a way for uh, reality capture to do it. So you you shoot it with, without any background at all, and then uh, you can change the position of object, and it should work. I will have to test that out.